uh, there's a page on Facebook called Merseyside on Film, and uh, they put out old footage of Liverpool, and people love it. They love nostalgia anyway, and it's like, oh, I remember that street, and I remember that. And uh, I just wrote to them and said, um, would you like some music? Because I wrote a song called You're My Liverpool. Yeah, it's a Would lovely like one. I think we that? played it last time you were here. It's a great song, that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he said, yeah, I've got a thing I'm working on now. I'll put it out tonight after he listened to it. I said, really? It's that quick? And he put it out and uh, it was only released on Thursday, but it's already had 15,000 views. <gasps> but the song wow. is getting heard now and it's getting commented on, which means it's out there. That's yeah. what you want. Try and get your music in, something like that. Because it means people are listening to it. It's a really good idea, that. It's a new vehicle, isn't it? And, you know, that, that's the thing we were also talking off air about, the fact that people do consume music in completely different ways now nowadays. And one of the ways they do it, weirdly, mm. is video. They tend to just put YouTube on in the background and just and YouTube will, you know, they'll pick a particular artist. So if they've heard your song on that video, yeah. great. They might go, OK, you know, sort of let me hear Maureen Thompson. Or YouTube then has all these sort of algorithms, doesn't it, where it will recommend other artists that are similar. And so you've just got a sort of ready-made playlist, really. And that's on that's video, but mm. it's a way of consuming music now. Yeah, and it, it's so much more powerful on video when you put music to it. You know, if, yeah. if you just send someone a song, they go, "Oh yeah, very nice," but you put a powerful image to that song, and suddenly they're like, you know, they're a lot more interested in listening to it. Yeah, I think it's uh, one of those things that really worked for Childish Gambino recently with his tune about America, which just that video was, oh my word, the impact of it was absolutely bonkers. Yeah, but yeah. It, you are reminding me though of years ago when the chart show was around on TV <laughs> and they used to have video. That's how I found out loads of my music was the videos they used to play on the chart show with all those little nuggets of daft trivia about the band mm. sort of coming up over the, the, the music as well. Brilliant stuff. Anyway, uh, very excited to see that you have your guitar with you, Ian. So yeah. we're going to hear something live. But before we do, um, let's give the album another plug. And also the fact that, you know, we talk about getting your music out there. Getting it recorded in the first place is difficult and it does cost, doesn't it? But you've had some good support from people here to be able to, to get this out here. Yeah, the uh, the Manx Arts Council have been really, really good with me. Um, and they've supported me on a few projects now and, and this one as well. So I'm going to repay them one day. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I had lots of meetings with uh, Dave Dave Armstrong and people like that, you know, and uh, they agreed to help me uh, with the financial side because uh, I do struggle, you know, with a musician and family and kids and all stuff like that. But yeah. uh, they've been brilliant with me. I can't fault them. Oh, well, that's good to know. So we've heard two tunes from the record itself, from the CD itself, from the digital, whatever you call them nowadays, I don't know, from the album. Mm. Um, just to, to sum up then, if you were sort of trying to give it an all-round sort of sound, what would you say about the album if someone's thinking, oh, should I check this out? What what sort mm. of flavour would you say the album has? Um, it's it's pretty heartfelt stuff, you know, if you, if you like that kind of thing. If you just looking for something light-hearted no because it's it is quite uh, meaningful you know the stuff to me uh, there's some light-hearted tracks on there like the one we had before max because I, I always have to throw one of them in just to balance things out but uh, i'm always as i say songs for me are just me having a rant that's how i feel you know it's like a rant with with music put to it um i get frustrated and then if i do it or put it all in a song i get rid of that anger and frustration then so you know every if I'm going to have an argument, I'll run to the bedroom now and sing. <laughs> it's very healthy. This is definitely an element of, uh, of well-being going on there. And yeah, that's, Some that's... people punch bags and throw things, but I, I decided I'm going to take it all out on the guitar. Good on you. Like all the best songwriters have done over the years. Uh, Ian, it's always a joy to speak to you, and it's lovely to hear the new stuff. It is fantastic. Um, where can people find you before you play us out? Where's the best place for them to go? Uh, well, my website really, which is www.ianthompsonuk.com um, and obviously on my Facebook page as well. Ian and you've Thompson got some music. gigs coming up as well. Yeah, well, I always have every weekend. I'm playing all the time, you know. I think people are sick of me, to be honest. <laughs> you again. Never. So you're going to play us out with one. What are we going to hear? Uh, this is called Hold On To Your Mind, a song uh, me and my brother wrote. Um, and again, it's a, this is one of them typical ranty ones, you know. It's just, it's just saying... You know, don't lose your head in this crazy world of ours. You know, keep keep some of the old values, you know. What a great message to leave us with. Uh, always good to have you. Ian Thompson has been live in the studio with us and he's going to play us out. And now, Ian, take it away.
Lizards and holograms and digital audio sound. Production land robots, ways them people, save them pounds. I've got a friend who's fighting to save the whale, the trees, the skies. You've got to hold on to your mind. Hold on to your mind. Recession, depression, the cog still turns the wheel. The plastic exploded, now they'll make you pay for real. I met a girl, a sociological dame who wanted my brain. You've got to hold on to your mind. Hold on to your mind. You know it ain't right, but I'll keep them fighting. Fight the good fight. Don't ask myself why It's just the blind leading the blind You've got to hold on to your mind Ooh, You've got to hold on oh. You've got to hold on Now sex is a drug for sale a thousand different ways And if you're a prude that hasn't screwed it's just the phase They say it's the best But don't turn your head from good like all the rest My friend, hold on to your mind Hold on to your mind Hold on to your mind You know you're just a human kind Hold on, don't fall Hold on, don't fall Hold on, don't fall Hold on, don't fall Ian Thompson, some wonderful wordplay going on in that song.